brings me on to a topic regarding myself when it comes to fighting right i remember when i lost my first proper fight when i was younger i must have been like 16 or 15 years old and that was the last fight i ever lost in that manner because you know maybe you can get slept another time having this a, a, you know a proper fight with somebody else but that was the last time i ever lost that fight in that manner and i think every man needs to lose a fight badly in order to learn how to fight because i think in general the guys really overestimate how well they can fight i don't know what it is about men in general but we all think in our head like even when i described recently even when i described on the podcast just now about daniel's brother should have got that cup and splashed it on the baby's face and then disoriented him and then hit him this isn't a movie you know what i mean this isn't some movie you can't just who's to say if he swings the cup the baby doesn't just swing back and hit him in the face as his hands up there you know i mean it doesn't make any sense but we all have a very dis we all have a very um delusional sense of how well we can fight and i think in general it's really good to learn some self-defense most of the time it's good to walk away for the most part because you don't know what that person's on they could be on knife things gun things you don't know but if it comes to a point where you have to defend yourself you need to be able to know how, know how to defend yourself i didn't that one time i did not i had no idea how to defend myself <laughs> so i feel i was playing sunday league football or something maybe a school football maybe been school football it was school it was a school football thing we're in some place where they play football around, I think it's this area called Once's Flats, where I used to live, right? And we were playing this Sunday league thing, and I think we were playing, and something happened where I got, I don't know what happened, I think I got into some sort of argument, you know, some Sunday league back and forth with somebody I was playing with, who happened to go to the same school as me. We were cool before, but we weren't really friends. Man, what? Oh, you know what, thinking about it, it might have started because of a girl. Again, girls are always at the centre of these beefs. It might have started because of this girl. There was this really cute girl in our school called Joanna. She was like a mixed race girl. She looked a little bit like Elisa Keys, right? Really cute. Everyone liked her. She was really tall, really like, you know, curvy and stuff. Like she looked like a flipping Amazonian woman. It's just crazy. And I remember all the guys really being into her. And for whatever reason, she took a liking to me, like just as a person, maybe because I was funny and stuff. But I was, I was like, oh, I was like, all these bad boys like you and you like me. Like, I mean, I, I didn't understand it. So I built a little bit of a weird connection with her in that respect. But nothing actually happened because, you know, I was a flipping, I was a... Um, I was a neek back those days. I didn't know how to move. I didn't know how to progress things forward. I didn't know how to get a kiss, to get a snog. I didn't know how to do anything. I was just flipping happy that she was talking to me. So anyway, nothing happened there, but I, I was still kind of oddly possessive in the background, just like, mm. right? <laughs> mm. I hate you in the corner. And I guess something happened between them. I don't know what happened. I can't remember, but I guess I might have had something against him because of that. And he must have known and he must have teased me. Something like that happened. We get into some sort of argument on the football pitch and it turns into like, all right, cool. I'm going to, let's come out. Let's, let's fight after the thing, after the game. And then I guess everyone, you know what's funny thinking back? I think everyone knew I wasn't on the action back then, but I thought I was John Wick. So I think everyone in the change room was trying to tell me, yo, Ago, you don't want to do this, bruv. You're going to get slept. You're going to lose. But I was like, nah, nah, nah. He's talking to me. He took my Joanna. He took my Alicia Keys. So I started flexing, started doing my thing. And then we get out, we get outside, I think, to the car park where it's going to go. It always happens to the car park, graveled floor, right? We get outside the car park. I put my bag down and we're about to go fight. We're about to start fighting. And then suddenly the nerves of like, oh, shit, I might lose, start coming out of nowhere. So I was all bad boy and tough guy. And as soon as we started to square up and I started to see how relaxed he was and how like he was dropping his shoulder and like fainting, I was like, oh, shit. And I think my eyes might have told, said something like that. But then as he was like smiling, looking at me thinking, yeah, you know I'm going to fuck you up, innit? As he started skipping around, he accidentally slept. No, he, yeah, as he started skipping, he slept a little bit. And then I think I swung at the same time. So it made it look like I punched him and he fell on the floor. I did hit him, but not really that hard. So he made it look more extravagant. So he went, and everyone was like, ooh, so he slipped on the floor. And then I guess, because he slipped on the floor, he was like, I didn't, he didn't hit me. So he got more angry. I was like, no, no, no. I've got to confirm that I'm winning this fight. So he slips. I hit him on the floor. I, I kind of hit him and he kind of long, he slips on the floor. He gets back up again. Then as I'm trying to chase him to kick him, he then moves and pivots and spins back around and somehow ends up behind me. And all I hear is, boop, 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 spark. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I'm getting lost as I made somehow. Some, he's on the floor one minute. Next minute, he's, a, he's, on, he's on my back and he's, I hear all these steps in the back of my head. And then as I'm trying to get back up again, all I remember is being on the floor like this and then just seeing his hand, boom, boom, on the side of my face as I'm trying to protect myself. And, you know, clearly in that kind of, you know, 30 second range, I lost the fight. And then I, I'm trying to get up again and I get up and to square up, square up again and we're trying, to, we're, we're trying to go fight again. And as we're going to try to fight again, fear comes over me. Some mad fear that I've never had in my entire life since that day. And I just look at him, I'm like, nah, fuck this, deuces. And I just run. 
I just turn around and run. I start legging it. <laughs> well, I remember seeing my friend go, I got your bag, your bag. I left my bag. I just ran. Imagine back in those days when you, have your, you had like a JD sports bag. You'd never leave it. So I left and left my JD sports bag and just started running, bolting it down the street. And guess what happened to make this even more embarrassing? The guy's chasing after me like an attack dog, like a flipping pit bull, like a Doberman. He's chasing after me like, oh, oh, come here, you pussy, you pussy, you pussy. Saying all, those, saying all those like, you know, those words that men say to each other to illustrate their dominance or to get you to bite. And I'm just running. No, when I get home, I can't do this anymore. I run home, get on the bus, embarrassing as hell. And then I think school's the next day. It's not even like it's a Friday, it's a Saturday, Sunday. No, school's the next day. I have to go into school. Everyone looking at me, laughing, saying, oh my God, you right. Like just sniggering, laughing. Luckily, I was like a well-liked guy. So people weren't too harsh, but I was getting mocked all over the place. I need to end up with, I need to end up in another fight because some guy was busting up and laughing at me so much. And on that day, I promised myself I would never let that happen again. And quite soon after, I started doing Muay Thai. Quite soon after, I started training a little bit, started doing a bit of Muay Thai, started doing a little bit of boxing stuff, just, you know, whatever. Most of it was stuff that I was learning on YouTube, to be completely honest. And then I started doing the gym stuff a bit later in that kind of regard. But since that time, I was like, nah, I would rather get slept than have, vi like, what would you rather in terms of video footage if you're a dude? Would you rather have video footage of you getting slept on the floor? Because that's something that happens now with this generation, they have to kind of combat. And, I, and I've not really, like, um, I don't envy them at all, this generation. They have to worry about fighting somebody and maybe getting, you know, world starred. But what would you rather? Would you rather get slept and have it recorded and exist on the internet forever? Or would you rather have, lose a fight and then have somebody have a video recording of you running away from your assailant <laughs> down the street somewhere whilst everyone's screaming your name and telling you to come back for your bag with your £10 Nikes in it? What's, what's more embarrassing? Running away or getting slept on camera? I think, I think running away, I think being a coward and being not able to like stand, because again, because if I remember correctly, I, I'm pretty sure I'm the person that said, I'm going to meet you after the fight, because it's different if like you run away and you're not really about this life and the person kind of went to fight you and you didn't want to fight them. Maybe it's different because, oh, look, he's not really about that life. Or, you know, whatever. They can make an excuse for it. But when you instigate the fight, or when you say, let's go outside and then you meet them outside and then you then get hit and it's it changes your reality like it did mine. It's like that's why when I heard that that quote from Mike Tyson about oh everyone's got everyone's got a plan until they got punched in the face, I resonated with it so much because like yeah, that happened to me. I had a plan. I had a plan what I was gonna do. I got punched in the face and suddenly my plan went Yoo! out the window. It went running like me actually. Oh man, what honestly? Uh, and and I do think every guy needs it because it does humble you. And of course, once I was watching in once I get into Joe Rogan, it's like watching MMA. That then reminded me, also, that then was also a good wake up call to see what actual real trained assassins look like. Then you go see some fights in the gym, especially when you're, you know, when you're doing some training at the end of the sessions, usually you're doing a bit of sparring or whatnot. You start sparring somebody that's much younger than you, smaller than you, like, and then they're just lighting you up. You're like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I need to mind now. I need to relax. You know what I mean? There are people out there that you don't suspect that have got that can really, really put some beats on you. The kind of beats where you don't even get knocked out. The beats where you're still up, but it's like a, it's like a, it's like a telling off beat. You don't, no one wants that. Because I think maybe getting knocked out is, you know, it's all well and good, you're out. You know I mean, you don't feel anything, you're unconscious for a little bit. But no one wants to get beat where you're, you're like fully awake and you just seeing sparks. And it's like you're disheveled and all that stuff and you start feeling lumps and your jaw starts to hurt a little bit. It's like, <laughs> oh, mate, honestly, man, I'm so sorry for that. But honestly, from that day onwards, I never, ever was that guy again. It, it was so important in my life. I needed that. I needed that to be able to like get some understanding, learn how to fight properly. And then, you know, anytime I've been in an altercation, for, for the most part, unless I'm fighting somebody as fucking, you know, Golden Gloves champion or something, I, I'd, I'd give myself a chance. I'd give myself some sort of chance of making sure that I can defend and stand up for myself. That I'm okay. If it's Khabib, then I'm going to sleep. You know what I mean? But if it's m m random people, then I'm going to, you know what I mean? I'm going to stand up to Gary. I'm going to stand up to Dan and his friends in the pub. You know what I mean? I'm going to get down. Clearly, I want to leave. But, you know, if, if Passa comes to Passa, fair enough. But, oh, uh, mate, running down the street. I know that picture of me, like, sprinting. Thing. And back in the day, I was fast as well. Fast. Whoop. I was gone, bro. Whoop. Oh, mate. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on.